what's up what's up what's up everybody this is jay how you doing back at home on youtube what a great episode this week we had power book two i mean episode four was actually pretty good until i saw method man uh you know cream uh you know but crack rules everything around me no but other than that <laughs> that was a good episode um we actually got to see uh, a pretty good episode if you're a fan of Lovecraft Country. I actually enjoyed that and the details and the time machine and all of that stuff. I think that was actually pretty interesting uh, how they kind of put that together. And also, if you are watching The Boys on Amazon, I mean, it's the best show that nobody is watching and talking about. I mean, I really like this show. Now, I'm not a fan of the comics. I didn't know that. So I don't know how the storyline should be going or could be going. But as far as what they're putting on the screen, because I'm more of a screen fan than print, not that I have anything against it. But anyway, I like this show. And looking at Homelander and he about to flip, he about to be a Nazi. <laughs> Homelander, <laughs> how you doing? All right. Oh, you want to take a selfie? <laughs> Don't worry, Homelander's here. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. You want to make sure that uh, everything is safe? Well, sometimes things happen, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, I think that was a good episode. Action packed, as always, for the boys. And if you love action, you like a little comedy, little, you know, gore. Man, it's got it all, and that's like my favorite mix. <laughs> you got a little action, a little comedy, a little bit of, you know, realism. Man, I'm I'm all in, and, uh, you know, I love that show. I wish it was on HBO or something else, major network, because it would be getting the, the recognition it deserves. Anyway, I see you guys coming in with the comments. I'm going to go ahead, get to a couple of you guys' comments, and let's see what's up. Checking in. John John, what's up? John Blaze, what's good? What's good? Miss Tamika, what's up, sweetheart? You are checking in on Facebook. I appreciate you. And for those who don't know, if you're not following me on Facebook, I don't know what you're waiting on. J. Moore Reviews, Facebook because there you can catch all my unique posts that I put on Instagram as well as different things that I put on Facebook and on YouTube so you can get it all in one place as well as different things that I put on Facebook. So check me out on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe. Also, I'm streaming live on Twitch. Make sure you subscribe there because if anything has ever happened with YouTube, at least you got a backup. And also, I'm able to stream and do things on Twitch that I'm not able to do on YouTube. So, just for example, have a watch party when I'm watching the episodes. I watch the episodes on Twitch live. I'm not the type to be talking every second, but I do got comments every now and then that I do like to bust out and say. So, you know, hey, might as well, right? Anyway, get to some more of these comments. Support Gaming, what's up? What's up? Been supporting my channel for a while. I appreciate you. Cash Money, you always here. Got my back. I appreciate you as well. Fudgy Babe, another loyal fan, supporter. Always got my back. I appreciate you as well, Fudgy Babe. Shout out to the loyal fan base. You know that's right. You guys are. I just finished Lovecraft as well with, that's why, I, you know, I normally come on at eight o'clock, but I said the last couple weeks, two weeks ago or something, that I'm going to start to come at 10 so that I can talk about Lovecraft because I was coming on at eight, then I'd have to get off at nine, watch Lovecraft, and then not be able to talk about it. And I wanted to talk about it because, man, I like that show. And now, even though another show that I watch called The Vow that's on HBO is on right now. I can go back and watch that. And I think from now on, on Sundays, starting next Sunday, I'm going to add in movies to watch. Then I'm going to come up with three movies or something that I've seen during the week, give a review, and you guys can check them out as well. Try to add, mix it up a little bit 
and you know make it a little interesting break up the show so anyway with you've been having my back for a while you add me and put my channel down by down sister i appreciate you hey you guys support her as well not that she you know got a channel i don't believe yet but you know she one of the sisters on the front line nurse and i appreciate you so thanks a lot nathan grant what's up what's up you didn't made it to the j mo show that's right what's up what's up let's see you can't stand homelander with his no lip having a <laughs> what do you mean you don't like lips i'm homelander you you can't not disagree with homelander did you see my cape <laughs> i mean it is the american flag i mean you cannot go wrong with the flag that's why my name is homelander <laughs> tammy calloway what's up what's up sis checking in from facebook looking good in the pic i like you girl what's up what's up girl uh let's see foes came through for y'all nikki quickie baby y'all don't want to mess with the bears he talking about the chicago bears and you know we was looking kind of bad for a moment but in the fourth quarter the backup QB, that is the Super Bowl champ, came through with three touchdowns in the fourth quarter to seal the deal. The Bears are still undefeated. Come on now. Big Kemp checking in from Twitch. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing, Big Kemp? I appreciate you checking in and subscribing to me on Twitch. I really appreciate your support. Barshana checking in from Twitch as well. Looking good in the pics, sis. I like that smile. What's up? What's up? Cash money is going to be Lakers versus Heat. Yeah. What's crazy is that wouldn't even have happened if it wasn't for the bubble. I think that this actually, some people say, well, you got to give this bubble championship credit. It's, I'm not going to say I'm going to discredit it, but I'm not going to give it full credit either because it's just people ain't all into it the same. You don't have the same travel. All of that stuff add into it. So I don't think the Bucks may have went down the way they did. I don't think a lot of things may have happened. Some people was ready to get out of the bubble. Some people heart wasn't. I mean, it just, I don't know. So, you know, like the Clippers, they may not have lost to Denver. They may have because it was a bad matchup. And in the playoffs, that's what it's really all about. But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Dame430, what's up? Another longtime supporter and a supporter of mine on Patreon for a long time as well. Why did they have to go in that direction with Drew? It seems like TV feels the need to cover every lifestyle and every show. That is true. And uh, it does seem like it seems like it, it's in shows that weren't going in that direction. Now, I know a lot of people in the you know, LGB community um, are going to say, well, that's part of life, this, that, and the other. Or some people even get mad when people comment like what Dame say and say, well, don't watch the show or this or that or whatever. But that's not the point. Like, this wasn't that direction of the show from what people had watched before. And so sometimes people see things that's unexpected. If they was watching a show where like P Valley or something and you see the direction, then you you can't really say the same thing. You know what you was coming into. And so, you know, people got to understand everybody got a point of view too. Just because somebody may feel that way don't mean he was being disrespectful or saying, you know, that this shouldn't be that way or whatever. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't feel, you know, natural. But people like that do exist. So, I mean, at the same token, I can see both sides of the argument. You know, me being in the middle and I can see, you know, both sides as a fan and as people writing in the creative side, you know, and representing things. So, you know, it is a... It, it could it's a confusing situation sometimes you know to navigate through but you know it it is what it is at the moment you know um 
Donna, what's the live link? Um, live link for what? What are you talking about? Live link what? To join the show live? It ain't time to join the show live yet. But if you're ready to join the show live in about 20 minutes, I'm going to open it up so people can join live. I'm doing good, sis. I appreciate you, man. I'm glad you came through and uh, hear my little silliness or whatever I got to do. Hope, hopefully make you laugh a little bit. Hey, hey, how you doing? That's moms right there. How you doing, moms? Appreciate you. Sugarbooger.com. <laughs> What's up? On Facebook, Don. What's good? Sasha Speaks. How you doing, sis? Don on Facebook. The C on the hot. Man, <laughs> hot. Me. Man, what? Whitney, Ruby skin is amazing. Love the scene where they had her sitting in the window. That chocolate was fire. <laughs> yeah, she is real pretty. And uh, I like when, uh, you know, uh, even Hippolyta is real pretty. Uh, they had her in there. And even when they had her, you know, uh, in her unmentionables. Like, ooh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, they, they got a pretty, you know, a lot of beautiful women on uh, on uh, Lovecraft Country. And I'm going to get into that in a second. Let me get to a couple more of these comments. Hey, Nikki, checking in on Twitch. I appreciate you so much, uh, Nikki. Thanks a lot. One of my first Twitch subscribers. I appreciate you. Sweet Brown Sugar, what's up, sis? Mellow Fellow, what's up? What's up, bro? Support Gaming. I knew Drew was sus. But Stern caught me off guard. See, it's actually kind of the opposite. I do Stern for a fact. Drew, I was, you know, I didn't know about. But Simon Stern, a lot of people forget in season one of Power, invited Ghost to a party. And when he was there, Simon Stern was coming out of the bathroom with a young dude. And even another time when Ghost uh, was talking to him and he said, maybe you could s save that money on your next wife, ex-wife or something. He said, I don't know, maybe I'll get a young man next time. So, you know, that wasn't no big deal uh, for for me with him. Not Natasha, what's up, sis? How you doing? That's what's up. Jimmy Butler. Well, Jimmy Butler got the will to win. And he got that that grind in him, that Midwest grind. Jimmy Butler is a self-built man player. You know what I mean? He wasn't highly recruited or any of that. He was built himself from being off the bench to being a defensive role player, to being the starter, to being a 20-point a game scorer, to better than Derrick Rose. I mean – Jimmy Butler is a beast. I was hurt when the Bulls let him go. I knew the Bulls didn't want to win when you let a player like that go. So, yeah, I like Jimmy Butler. He embodies the Chicago spirit of how you hoop. <laughs> I know he ain't with the Bulls no more, but I always love Jimmy B Jimmy B Buckets for that. No problem, sis. Yeah, on Facebook, Big Don, I'm rocking with the tweets. You right. Let's see. Uh, all right. So, Barshana say things between Drew and that guy happened really fast. And it did. Um, the gaydar was up. How you doing? You got to add this one pinky up, dude. How you doing? <laughs> but uh, he kind of gave Tariq a kind of little look at first to try to see when Tariq first came in. And Tariq didn't pick up on it. But he kind of gave him a look like. Okay, he passed. <laughs> but uh, when he walked in and saw the basketball player, they kind of picked up on each other and gave the look real quick. And uh, next thing you know, he trying to sit there and, uh, you know, draw and and talk to him and make small talk and wasn't even paying attention because what if you all ain't familiar with what I'm talking about, it's a scene in Power Book 2, Episode 4, where Monet, Mary J. Blige character, as I instructed, drew one of her sons to follow Tariq and learn how he making his money and what is he doing 
at school basically so they know not to worry about if he's doing something hot to get them in trouble and lead back to them. And so while he's following him around, he's following him around in class. He looks like a student. And when Tariq is in class, he goes to this art class. Now, it was already kind of mentioned in that same episode when first episode he met Tariq and they mentioned about art. And so when he was in the art class, it was a guy to the left sitting at an art easel and he kind of looked at each other and he just was ended up. That's why I say the gay dar was up because as soon as they kind of gave each other the look, they knew what time it was. And, you know, men are aggressive anyway. So two men and young, it didn't take them long. <laughs> That's why it moved so fast. And next thing you know, we see, after they had a little conversation right there later in the episode, he back at his uh, room and he rubbing on his muscles like, mm, I like uh, this trophy. Let me color it in for you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we get to some boys' comments. Tabika, yeah, unexpected thing like booty cheeks. You know, you wanted to see Method Man's, uh, you know, crack rules everything around me. Great. But uh, yeah, it is something. Sasha speaks. We don't need to see same sex relationships. They're really trying to push an agenda. I mean, it does when you, when it's in shows like this that wasn't going that direction. People feel that way. And I can understand that because it wasn't going that direction. Now, at the same time, this type of stuff happened and people are in the world like that. So I understand on that side of the argument as well. But it seemed like different shows, it don't fit in right. That's why people feel that way. So I'm explaining. And if I'm not saying it right, then let me know. But I'm thinking from that angle because that's how I see it is when people feel that way. It's like, man, this show wasn't even going in that direction. Now, all of a sudden, and so maybe that's why people, you know, feel that way. So we'll see. Um, let's see. Whitney, why do men feel a type of way when they see men kissing? Yet those same men would be quick watch adult films. I don't want to get, okay, graphic. Too graphic. Okay. Watch adult films with what? Men kissing though and doing more or watch it with two women I think the whole problem with men thinking about men versus men with women is the actual penetration going on with a man and with a woman it's not it's using toys and other things and so it's not perceived the same and plus men don't see straight men don't see other men as attractive so to see that that's like it does it doesn't it's not a turn off whereas straight men see women attractive so when they see two women they still just see two women that are attractive or whatever the case they don't see it as a turn off just like some straight women see two women as a turn off because they are not turned on to women at all so seeing two women is a turn off but i'll be i've actually been surprised in talking and asking women this question and they'd say they'd rather see two men which i'd be like what but they are attracted to men so they'd rather see two of things they like versus the opposite so you know, it makes sense, I guess, you know, so let's see, let me get to some more of these comments right quick, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was in a birthday suit, I was just trying to find a word a little more funnier, but, uh, yeah, actually, it was worth mentioning, because I like her, she was, I like a woman with some meat on her bones, you know, and, uh, she was looking, uh, really, uh, ripe, <laughs> let's see, John Norman, what's up? What's up, brother? What's good? What's good? 
Twitch, no, Twitch is another streaming service. It's spelled T W I T C H, just like you spelled it. And Twitch allows you to live stream. And it's also a lot of people use it streaming games. They do concerts, DJ, all kind of different stuff. But it's a live stream service just like YouTube. It's just that it's more of live streaming. And and actually, you guys can make clips of my videos on there. So if you're on my Twitch, you can actually pick clips of my videos that you like and and it'll be posted on there and things you can make clips and stuff but yeah twitch is actually pretty cool got a couple cool features but it's not like youtube in the sense that i can just upload videos that i create it's more of all live stuff or whatever but the lives are saved and it is got you know some other benefits so you know let's see uh, let me get to some more of these comments, catch up with you guys. Uh, mother, you guys enjoying it? Yeah, I'm behind. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what's up? What's up? Mia Sign on Twitch, a.k.a. Michelina. How you doing? Appreciate you for checking in on Twitch. Let's see. Tamika, that's all good. You can check it out. Um, let's see. CJ, what's up? What's up? You back with me, men that watch straight adult entertainment. See the actual in the film. If I see two women, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Neither will it be a turn on. Okay, that's a good point. And here's the thing. Like, I'm not a big porn watcher, but I have watched enough. And so, uh, anyway, when you're watching that, you're not focusing on that. Or you may be thinking about what you would be doing in that situation or thinking about what you may have done in a situation similar. But the last thing you're thinking about is looking at that or his, unless there's something wrong with it or it's just so abnormal or you can't, you know, avoid it. But you don't you will you don't think about that part. <laughs> so just like you know what I'm saying, y'all probably ain't thinking about the woman part if you all are watching it. Let's see. Rakia, what's up? I'm just turning in, but when Tasha was doing push up, I was done. Oh my goodness. So in Power Book 2 is the scene where we see Tasha. She been trying to get swole off bread and water. She got a little braids on. She doing push-ups in the little hexagon. Next, she going to be on her little knuckles. She got a couple gold, gold, you know what I'm saying, insides of canines. A couple gold canines and two on the bottom, two on the top. I know you know how to move around up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing on mine. What's up, Kush? What's up, Kush? Hmm? What's up? What's up, Kush? <laughs> but uh, that was hilarious. I don't know what she thinks she going to get swole all of a sudden. Uh, at damn near 35, 40 years old. Get swole and start, you know, handing out mouth shots in, in the pen. <laughs> I got to protect myself. <laughs> Too late for that, baby. Let's see. Uh, sweet brown sugar. <laughs> you having a good one? That's good. Let's see. Were you surprised when A-Train got cut from the team first? Um, well, he did have a heart attack. So what Dame is talking about is the boys. A-Train is a character played by Jesse Usher, who was in the movie Shaft as Samuel Jackson's son. And he was also in survivor's remorse tv show that was produced by lebron james with mike epps he's in the boys and he was using this you know serum that make people have superpowers called compound v and he was doing it to the point where he didn't have gave himself physical problems even had a heart attack at the end of season one and so 
we see that in this season, Homelander know about it. <laughs> you think I didn't know? <laughs> you think I didn't know that you've been dosing up on that fee and gave yourself a heart attack? <laughs> You're out. You're out the seven. That, that That's all there is to it. I mean, uh, you, you can't be in the seven and be uh, dosed up and, and on the junk. I mean, come on now. We have a reputation to hold, uphold. <laughs> and uh, so he pretty much, after that, his reputation was in jeopardy. Homelander, you know how strict he is. He pretty much is the bad guy to show he really about to be evil. Now that this Nazi chick then got, you know what I'm saying, a hold of him. And so, uh, yeah, that's messed up. But I think A-Train and the Deep, even though they about to get into involved into this cult, the Church of the Collective, which is like Scientology, I believe that they may end up working to help in the end. Um, so we'll see. Let me take a little bit of water because I got to do one of my favorite impersonations right quick uh, from the boys. Hold on. So. And the boys, they got a character played by Carl Urban called Billy Butcher, and he's English. And Carl Urban, if you don't know who that is, was in the movie Red with uh, Morgan Freeman and Bruce Willis and all of those people. He was in Dread, and he played Judge Dread, and he's been in a lot of things. You probably just don't know his name. But anyway, uh, Billy Butcher, they, they call me Butcher, all right? And we're going to go into the seven and take them down, all right? Go in there, plant the bug up under the table. Easy peasy, Japanesey, all right? Now, Huey, you got all of that, Huey? Okay, you have to go and take down Translucent, all right? It's not going to be bad, but it's not going to be good, okay? You got this soup cunt in the trunk of the car, mate. What are you going to do? You, you can't go back. <laughs> That's my butcher. <laughs> That's my butcher, and I'm sticking to it, all right? Butcher's the name, FBI. I wanted to use your vehicle. I'm going to take your keys, all right? I'm going to go into your pocket. I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to take your keys. Now, there's nothing you can do about it. So I just suggest you just go along with it. Because if I wanted to steal a car, I wouldn't take a on die, would I? <laughs> and that happened in this latest episode. They needed a vehicle because Huey got injured. And then it was a guy they stopped. And he was telling them that he was FBI. The guy didn't believe him while he was helping with Huey. And uh, next thing you know, he goes and gets a gun. And so he pulls out the gun on him. And so now uh, you see that now Butcher got the gun. And now we see that Huey girlfriend basically got to zap him. Uh, and he dies for nothing. And so, you know, it was a good episode, man, dude. I mean, if you ain't seen the boys, I don't know what you're waiting on. Um, let's see. Miguel, Jay, why I have this feeling Tasha not going to make it to the end of this season? If you see in the opening credits of the show, it says, and Natari not not as Tasha. And, well, I hope so. Um, don't get my hopes up, though, but uh, definitely she don't deserve it. Fudgy Babe, thank you so much for your support to the channel. Um, every little bit helps. Um, it does cost me a lot of money to keep the channel up and running, pay for a lot of things. And I appreciate every little bit that helps to keep this operation running. And I appreciate you, Fudgy Babe. You always got my back. Thank you. Whitney, you like that butcher? Hey, I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it, Mike. Hey, why don't you come over my place and I'll show you what the butcher is really cooking up on the hill, right? <laughs> Always like to work with a little piece of chocolate. Okay, Mike? And you really pray, too? <laughs> 
Drew impression had me dying yesterday. <laughs> Let's see. What did I say with Drew? I done forgot already. Let's see. I think the members of the seven are all going to end up trying to kill Homelander at some point. I hope so. He need to, man. He is a bully. Uh, straight up. And, you know, Homelander, he, he kind of keeping everybody in check. But I'm wondering, because we saw that facility with all those, uh, you know what I'm saying, freaks. <laughs> These vault soup cunts. These freaks. If we get them all together on one side, we can take that rapist cunt down for good. Okay? Homelander is no good. He raped my wife and he impregnated her with a soup freak we're gonna take him down and it's not gonna be nice but it needs to be done <laughs> let's see uh you like that <laughs> you say the man with the long thing <laughs> so uh in the boys so in episode uh seven they broke into this facility because starlight ended up finding out a little bit about this facility when she was in uh you know what i'm saying what's the dang girl uh name nazi chick name i can't think of it right now but anyway so they go and investigate at the facility i know you guys are gonna remind me in the comments uh what's the nazi chick name it ain't starlight it's whatever you all let me know but any storm front thank you wit that's my girl and so uh we see that they find in storm front's trailer that she actually is like another person and then they end up getting a clue to this facility so they go into this facility to get some more information because she knows that Stormfront knows that she leaked the compound V. And if Stormfront tell Homelander, well, it's a wrap. And so when they go to this facility, it's all these different mutants there in all of these different rooms and stuff. And they end up seeing and uh, when they hack into there, all the stuff going on. And so eventually uh, they end up seeing all these people with these different things, different abilities, different powers, crazy. And this show is really graphic and detailed. Like it's not no where you have to don't see. They show stuff. And so it was this one dude laying there and old boy had a love sausage. You know what I'm saying? I mean, thick. Like, like both of these combined going down more than a five dollar foot it was like a 55 dollar foot long okay he was from like down to touching his toes and uh they saw it even in the camera so later through the episode these guys all these people get free then different people attacking and stuff now my boy laz alonzo is in this and his name is mother's milk <laughs> mother's milk that's his name in the show and if you don't know who laz alonzo is he's gonna be in power book too and he looks similar to ghost and a lot of people were saying that he may be ghost brother i think even mark dark even did a video suggesting that i didn't watch the video i just saw the thumbnail nevertheless laz alonzo is in it they trying to hold the door shut next thing you know you think it's a snake or a worm no brother it busts through the window grab him by the neck about to choke the life out of him and uh you know what i'm saying the, you they give a whole nother meaning to trying to make him gag if you know what i mean and almost killed him and then they had to end up getting the up out of there once they just got rid of dude you see it just retracted just shrinking. He got a slinky. The slinky, the slinky. So, you know. Hey, and of course, wit. They always got to make them show they booty crack or, you know, get slapped with something or something. But, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> you see. 
me get to some more of these comments, man, y'all. <laughs> Let's see, BJ the Great. What's up, BJ? What do you expect for season two, Power Book Two Ghosts? Well, they didn't finish the last two episodes, as far as I know. I know they began trying to finish them. I don't know if they completed them. But as far as what I see, I think Tariq, is going to get involved with Diana and Lauren, and that's going to get a little complicated. He's going to have a little entanglement. Um, I know he's going to eventually mess up with the money one way or another, and li you like Liza Alonzo. Yeah, he, a lot of ladies like him. He look like ghosts, a lot of people, so Omari Hardwick, so, and a lot of women like him as well. I don't like to say all brothers with a beard look alike, but they do look a little similar. But anyway, back to what I expect. Um, I expect Tariq to get in more trouble because how is he paying for this? Now he's using Shell Company or whatever. And, you know, I just think that it's all going to come back to him one way or another. Sacks, dirty ball sacks, up to no good as always. I mean, of course, that's just another example of how the criminal justice system over polices young people of color. But anyway, um, I think it's going to get harder for them. And if it didn't, I'd be surprised. Um, do I think any of the main characters will die? I don't, but I would like to see Tasha die. But I don't think any of them will. Um, Zeke is not a main character, but I think he may die. But we'll see. Natasha Jones, I was mad they made the love sauces go around the black man neck. Like, y'all couldn't let it go around the other guy neck. I was, too. I got to admit, they always got to make, you know, you got to take it in the butt or something. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it... It can get a little sad sometimes. People notice, man. People notice. And one thing that I noticed doing the YouTube channel is like I used to notice that stuff and I used to think like I'm the only one and I know that I'm not by far the only one and people are more intelligent than are given credit. I know at least my audience, you guys are smart and you guys be on it. And so, you know what I mean? Uh, I just think that, you know, people try to yell you down or something if you disagree, but just because you disagree don't mean you don't, you know, think people should have this option or that option. It's just, you know, I got opinions too. So, you know, I see both sides of it and uh, it is unfortunate that be happening. Like why Denzel got to get shot in the booty to get the Oscar? Like, Glory was like a damn good movie. Malcolm X, I mean, come on. I still get teared up watching Glory. <laughs> so, you know, and I went to go see Glory at the show. Yeah, I went to go see Glory at the show. I had to see that. So, let's see. Yeah, I heard about Laz being on power. Yeah, he going to be in actually episode... I believe eight and nine or nine and ten. Laz Alonzo will be in on power. You like that uh what I was saying impression? I know I'd be late to the comments. So sometimes you guys may be laughing or saying something I say, and then I'll be getting to it late. So like you said that at oh wow. At ten thirty nine, so that was five minutes ago. My bad. I'm five minutes behind. Let me try to catch up. Let's see. Dame, out of all places, why would Tariq have a gun in his backpack on campus like it's one of these old school campuses used to have a small pen? And see, that didn't make a lot of sense for another reason, too. He already got busted with a gun in his uh, backpack when he was in school when he took Angela's gun. So he should have learned his lesson from that. You know, if anything, he wouldn't have that make that same mistake. Whitney, oh, that scene with Carrie and Jabari at dinner worked my nerves. I'm sick of their relationship. 
she really loved to hate him. You know, it's the type that I don't want you, but I don't want nobody else to have you either. But uh, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was stupid that he opened that gun right there, that backpack there, and at the same time, he knew it would be sitting right up there at the top. All right, y'all, I'm going to send out the invite if you all want to join me on screen. You got something you want to talk about from any of the episodes or anything uh, that was on this weekend, and uh, we could chop it up. Let's see. Let me get to some more of these uh, comments. Let's see. All right. You don't put monsters in a show like this. You let lesser people grow. Let me see. Whitney. No, he wouldn't. He's too good an actor. It'd be a waste for him. I must have missed what you all were saying earlier. Um, so we'll see. Um, oh, they should explain Tate weight gain. I mean, that's easy to explain. He been getting them checks from power. He been eating steak, baby. I been eating steak on a regular, all right? Them power checks cashed good. <laughs> and uh, he, he, he could say, hey, man, running for governor. I been eating good running for governor, and I approve this message. I accept your vote. <laughs> Another part that I did like was the chemistry Method Man had with Lorenz Tate when they was in uh he was lying and he said after he was done he pulled him to the side and say man you a lying ass you know <clears throat> ninja and he's like and I appreciate your vote <laughs> just a pure politician I mean that was something right there that was funny and you know um, I like Power Book 2 better than I thought I would. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> um, I didn't think I would like it at all, so that was a low bar to climb, I will admit. But right now, I would give it about a 7. I give it about a 7, and that's good. Like, a 7 is good. Like, to get an 8, 9, and 10, that's exceptional. So, I don't know. Uh, a couple things I forget um, already. I want all of you all, 44 of y'all watching right now, let me know where y'all watching from. And I'm going to say it to give you a shout out. Let me know where y'all calling in from. Let me know. And also, give me a number. What would you rate Power Book 2 right now? You know, if you watching... Lovecraft Country. What would you rate the show right now? And the boys, you could do a P for power, L for love, Craft Country, and B for boys. What would y'all rate it? What do y'all think? You know, for right now, I'm going to rate Power Book 2 a 7. Lovecraft Country, I'm going to rate an 8 right now. I really like that show. And the boys... I'm going to rate an eight and a half, almost a nine. I'm going to rate the boys almost a nine. So, you know, the boys is on a whole nother level than Power Book 2. The writing and everything and what's going on and stuff. And this is special. It just it can't even compare in so many things. But for the genres and the stories and what each is trying to portray. You know, just like I give power with Omari Harwick the first three to four seasons a nine. So, you know, the first three seasons, definitely a nine. So, you know, let me get to some of y'all shout outs. All right, let's see. You like that ninja with? Oh, it's all good to me, good girl. I know you got me, man. It's all good, sis. But whenever you want to, you can. Don't even worry about it. Let's see. 
Laron's La Gray from Cleveland, Ohio. That's what's up. West Texas, John Blaze. What's up? Ah, that's a nice one. Diet Power. It just don't have the same pop. Let's see. Let's see. Miguel, Ridgewoods, Queens. That's what's up. Power Book 2, 7, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. John, what's up? You give it a six and a half. That's what's up. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's borderline six and a half, seven, seven and a half. I can see from what we have seen so far. I think episode two is holding it down. But you think Sachs niece is a new angle? We'll see what the little junkie got to offer. <laughs> Come on now. It's about to be better than a two. Love is a nine. Yeah, Lovecraft Country is dope. I really like love. I could give that an eight and a half, really. It could. I could see a nine. Lovecraft Country is dope. Bon Joyner, the D, a T, I could see that too, man. Lovecraft Country is dope. I like the mix between real history, you know, telling the story of occult practices, which are real as well. Now, I don't know about all this time travel stuff, but I'm not in the cult and all of this. Who knows? But I don't know about that. May not be real, but nevertheless, still interesting story how they're interweaving all of these different things together. And I like it. I like the cameras they use. I like the locations. I like the costume. I like the set. I like the actors. They are all good looking women. Guys play their roles, right? You know, whatever the case, the story. I mean, Lovecraft Country is dope. I mean, it could get a little freaky to some, but if you can, if you can give it a chance and really get into it, that's a really good show. Damn, you give Power a seven. You see, get the boys an eight and a half. Yeah, the boys is dope. The boys is really good too. Support, you give it a nine and a half. Nine one two, <laughs> Natasha sis, what's up, Power? You give a five, and it's a solid five, and you ain't budging. That's a solid. <laughs> and the boys are nine. The boys is dope, y'all. If you got Amazon Prime, you already can watch it. You already are paying for it. You can watch it on, uh, you know, Amazon. What is it? Movies, or whatever. Get the app. And uh yeah, the boys is dope. Vaughn, the boys are nine, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Cash money, you give power book two, eight, eight out of ten. Lord Bison, what's up? What's up, brother? Chilling in the Philippines. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you, man. Your love and support all the way from the Philippines, man. That's what's up, man. I'm reaching people all the way in the Philippines, man. That's amazing, man. God work in mysterious and powerful ways. You see, you give power a six, you give love a eight, and you give the boys a nine, yeah? I can see how you could come up with all of those. My lady's fam is watching Power, the first series on my app, which is on my U.S. frequency. Uh, you got your own app built? That's what's up. Got to see a way to try to help. You got to email me and I can possibly help you Promote it if you want. All right, let's see. Let me get to some more of these uh, more of these shout outs right quick. Tamika sis, you rate power of five until you watch it more. I got it on DVR on third episode. Well, you didn't watch it all. You only missing one episode. <laughs> love the J Mo show, so I come to show love, and I love you too, sis. You a sweetheart. I appreciate you. And every time you say stuff, you know, uh, it's genuine. And I really, you know, feel the love, man. You guys are great. Um, I may not have the most this or that subs or videos or whatever, but you guys are real people, authentic. And I appreciate each one of you guys. You know, you guys, 
man, you guys show a lot of love, man, and I appreciate it. And any little jokey joke or if you want to see me do the Tommy, I'll do the Tommy for you any time. If that put a smile on your face, all right? Hey, I'll make sure Christmas is never canceled. I'll make Christmas every day just for you, all right? But if you tell somebody it's canceled, I can so don't tell nobody because I got a cape of reputations all old, all right? I got, I got a rep. <laughs> Let's see. Imagine you get lads on this and talk power and what the boys thing is about. That would be dope. I would love to interview Laz Alonzo. I and mean, it's a lot of people I like to interview that are really interested and talented as well. And you know, it is funny how they always make him keep that gold chain on in the boys. But, uh, you know, it is cool. Let's see. Dave Green, SC in the building. You rated a four. I'm guessing you're talking about Power Book 2. We'll see. Sasha, you got to watch that love crap, girl. Give it a, give it a try. It's, it's got a lot going on. Okay, Lovecraft Country does have a lot going on, but you have to like absorb it, give it a try. It's graphic. It is graphic. They're gonna show the blood. They're gonna show whatever's gonna happen. They're not gonna turn away. It ain't gonna be assumed. But if you can, if you watch that and you like that type of stuff, and you give it a chance, you're gonna like Lovecraft Country. So, we'll see. Miguel, you say that uh, Lovecraft last episode where the mama son, mama son, uh, she killed him. So this woman, they were showing basically in South Korea that the main character, Tick, had came across a woman that was possessed and was killing dudes. And he said it looked like species because it was a beautiful woman it, naked. It did next to you know she killing them. So, you know, um, you don't have it. Uh, I should start doing the watch party on Twitch for Lovecraft Country. Maybe I'll start doing that as well on Twitch. Watch Lovecraft Country uh, again. Let's see. Dame, what's up, brother? I appreciate your support to the channel. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps to keep my operation up and running. And I appreciate you, man, for helping and recognizing that, you know, although this is free for people to watch on YouTube, it does cost me. And this is a business. And I appreciate your support and helping to keep my Bennett running. Now, you part of the Bennett too. We partner. And really, that's true. When you guys help to support a channel, you we kind of partners. We like in business together because without your support, wouldn't be able to keep going. So, you know, a lot of other stuff that happened that everybody don't get the same uh support on YouTube put it that way um, and I'm not talking about from the viewers um, let's see Jay try to outside and Ozark so what CJ is referring to is some shows that's on Netflix and they are highly rated on Netflix and well talked about Ozark has Jason Bateman and I know about it I haven't seen it or the outsider i heard a lot about it and i do want to see it so i'm gonna check it out bj the great what's up brother you give power book to a seven i feel you that's i'm about the same spot with you man um it's and that's not a bad rating um so you know sometimes people everybody want to be a 10 but everybody can't be a 10 so you know that is what it is but it was good what about Raised by Wolves? I never heard of that before, brother. What's up with that? What's that on, man? Uh, let me know what's up with that. Um, let's see. Miguel, Jay, you make YouTube entertainment. Thanks, man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. Hey, 
as long as you make it, it, it enjoy it, you got to smile the boy. You'll be that I'm happy, all right? Because you know I want to put it the money on your face. I'm going to make it the happy. And I'm going to also take it to the dirty bus so I'm going to clean it. I'm going to put it in the soil in the mouth and clean it, you know. And I'm going to tell her the dirty boss he he no good. He tried to say the Yemis and Padre. He put the Yemis and Padre, dirty everything. And you cannot trust him. You cannot trust him. And you put him in the jail because he does the body to everybody else. Uh, no problem, sis. You know I love you. You got, I got you. One journey. What's up? Thank you for your support. Appreciate you. Let's see. Lord Bison, you gonna be uploading a video from the PEI? Okay. Well, let me know. That's what's up. I used to have somebody from the Philippines, very special in my life. So, you know. No, I got a lot of love for that. Let's see. Lord Dragon, the guy who looks like ghosts, he played a part in Fast and Furious also. Yeah, he's been around for a while. He just ain't never been like the main character. So, you know, we'll see what's up. Miguel Dislomari, especially, Jay, did you see the music video he did? He talked in ghost character. No, I didn't see the music video. But I would be honored to have Omari Harwick on the show. Um, so, you know, who knows what will happen? Who knows what the future holds? But, you know, that's why it's important for people to have subscribers because then it shows that you have a bigger audience and then it helps to increase people, you know, willing to come and do interviews with you because, a lot of people sometimes are busy and they want to make it worth their while. And sometimes they may not feel it's worth their while to be uh, giving their time to a smaller platform. So the more subscribers you have and different things going on, then that increases your chance of attracting more interesting people to talk to and interview and then once you start to talk to them, you build up a base where others can see your work and they feel more comfortable coming on the show. So it's always hard to get started when you're doing something. It's hard to get your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and all of that. And it's hard to get started when you're trying to do something new. So, you know, we'll see. But um who knows like i say all right one journey you follow me on twitch thank you so much i appreciate you and all you guys make sure you check it out because i can do things on twitch that i can't do on youtube yes it is more graphic than the walking dead but not much more graphic it's about the same but the walking dead storyline was kind of corny sometimes to me but you know it is what it is let's see ayo you ain't seen lovecraft lovecraft country is definitely worth the watch and i would definitely check it out right now one of my favorite shows is on hbo right now which is called last week tonight with john oliver and he always talks about some good topics breaks down some good information and i even have a playlist of excellent things that john oliver broke down and i even covered one of the topics of his show on my last friday show the friday fuss two episodes two days ago and it was showing a clip of the sheriff in wisconsin where jacob blake was shot speaking previously to that incident maybe a months before or whatever about a separate incident but speaking about putting people away black folks away so they can never have kids again put them in a warehouse and then build an amazon on top of the warehouse when they die so that it can be productive 
and this dude is still the sheriff. Imagine how many people have been, you know, stripped to due process. You know, but anyway, I covered it. It's in that video. Make sure you check that out if you didn't see that. Also, um, go into on the homepage of my YouTube channel and go into playlists. And I have a playlist of John Oliver clips already put together with a lot of great, interesting stuff that he make funny and also gives real info. So it's worth a watch. And, you know, I also put a lot of good stuff in my description box as well. Uh, let's see. What's up, sis? T.I., what's good? Ty? Ty said what I, what I, Ty said what Ty said, boy. Hey, girl, if you all ain't checked her out, this sister, she got a good YouTube channel up and coming, and we gonna probably be having something coming to you guys real soon that we working on, and I appreciate your support, and you guys are gonna enjoy some of the stuff that we are working on and going to bring to you guys. So I look forward to that. And I thank you for your support as well. I'm missing a lot of you guys' comments. Let me try to get to some of these comments, and then I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Um, sadly, none of you guys wanted to come join me on the show. I'm I'm getting old, over it, but it, it, it it's okay. I know I'm pretty, and you don't want to get on here with Ali, but Ali don't mind. I get in the ring with anybody. I don't care. Got to wet my whistle for the next batch of uh, impersonations. You wanted me to share the link so that you can follow her. Heck no. No, I'm joking. Actually, I don't have a link. But if you guys want to, all you got to do is click on anybody's name. That's another thing, a feature of YouTube most people don't know. You can click on a person's name and it'll take you to their YouTube channel. So go ahead and support this sister. She's really sweet, really cool, smart. She talk about a lot of black woman issues, and if you're a black woman, I'm sure you would like to hear about it. And I'm going to start giving a little different perspective, and we'll see what the future holds. I don't like to, you know, say too much and count my chickens before they root, roost, or better yet, count my chicken before I eat it, before I fry it. <laughs> anyway. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy. And we'll see what's up. And we'll see. Oh, they took that feature off months ago. I didn't know that. Uh, well, you can type her name in the search bar. And there you go. Um, but next time I will have the link and I will be prepared. You caught me off guard. I, I didn't do my homework, okay? I, I was busy. I, I, I was playing the Hinden too. But don't worry. We're going to get it straight. I'll be ready. We'll have a come on. T.I., why don't you come on right now and say what's up before we go? See, I didn't uh, brought it up. I got people want to see you. Interested? I'm going to share the link, Ty. Come on, Ty. Bring your cell phone up here. You know you're looking good. Come on now. And then you can tell some people about your channel before we go. So go on and click that link, Ty. And go on, bring your buns on up here. And I'm giving you some time to talk. And, you know, let's do this. Let's see. Lord Dragon, when Brianna Taylor was short, I think you mean shot. 
there was more concern about the bullet holes hurting the pregnant white lady in the next room instead of trying to check for a black woman who just died. That's cold. That's very cold. And they act like her life didn't matter. Like Brianna Taylor didn't have kids yet. From what I know, maybe I missed that. But from what I know, this woman didn't have kids yet. She was just 26, and her life was just getting started. All right, Ty's here. I'm going to bring you on up, sis. Look like you're busy, so I ain't going to keep you long. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am <laughs> I am busy. I hope that there's no echo. Um, I have my radio off. I'm driving. Um, I'm think. on my way to pick up dinner because <laughs> I just finished streaming, and so I'm uh, on my way to pick up dinner. I got my dogs in the back. Uh, well, in the back, back of the car, playing with their squeaky balls. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> probably the absolute worst time <laughs> that I could have tried to call in. Uh, but uh, okay. hi, everybody. How are y'all doing? How are you doing, Jay? I'm doing good. Um, I'm glad that you did come call, stop in, but I ain't going to keep you long because I wanted to keep you. We don't want nothing to happen to you, girl. You you want to buy treasures out here, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm right. turning into a little parking lot. I can, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see. Right. get to yeah. where y'all can see my black behind. <laughs> I know y'all okay. can see when I was driving. Okay, so hi, everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just finished a stream and I texted your behind when I was starting my stream to see if you wanted to come on and say hi to my audience. Uh, uh, but that's my, okay. My thing be off. My phone be off when I'm getting ready to start doing stuff so it don't ring and things. So I didn't even know. Understood. Understood. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, I did have my, uh, one of my male cousins popped on to give a male point of view about some things that we were discussing. And that's, I do want to bring more balance to the channel. Um, I don't want to just have my point of view as a female and even uh, as a woman, I know other people will have different points of view. Other women, they don't all think the way that I think. And so that's why I do like the magic or the beauty of StreamYard, if you will, so that we can, you know, interact this way. And, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, just like Jay is willing to share his, his uh, screen with us, I'm the same way on my channel. I love it. You know, give my vocal cords a rest and, <laughs> and let somebody else do some talking, you know. Right, right. Definitely. So, yeah, guys, there you have it. You all go ahead, subscribe, check her out. I'm going to be appearing over there. And you're going to start seeing her more over here. And, you know, we're going to start putting together our heads together and coming with some new ideas, more content for everybody to enjoy. So, you know, we'll build up a little review community um, and, you know, support yeah, each I, other, man. That's what we need to only, do more of. The only show that I watch that Jay reviews is Power. And so uh, I've been working on my Blanca voice so that he doesn't have to do that when I come on. I can be the, the Blanca if that's okay, unless he want to do it, you know. He can still you can be the sister, voice. homie. You can be part of the family. It's okay. <laughs> we, we can share. You know it's always a big family. I just want to do better than Mary J. Blige. Ten day ho. <laughs> Ten day ho. <laughs> I'm hard, Ben Day Ho. I know how to say that. Man. You I will say, say I will say this. I'm glad we didn't get any more of her stiff ass sex scenes this week. That was <laughs> terrible. They, <laughs> but we did get another kind though. Oh, well, we got a couple of kinds of sex scenes this week. It, it was all it was a bit much for me, but okay, I, I'm you not like that gay. method man cheeks. What you think about that? I could have done without, I'll be honest. <laughs> I know that the guys were not excited about it. Uh, it, did, uh, it didn't really do anything for me. I <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to enter the 37th chamber. <laughs> the Wu-Tang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to find out. I, I was, that could have been one of the hidden secrets, forbidden secrets of the world. I'm with, I'm with you on that. Uh, you know, uh, I'm with you on that. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for Professor Brian McKnight. <laughs> Professor McKnight, as you call him. Uh, <laughs> I could have done without all of it, but um, yeah. 
Hey, we can yeah. talk more in depth about it. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, you know, I appreciate you uh, coming in. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can do more. We get it coordinated. And, uh, you know, it'd be great. I think everybody enjoy it. I see people is liking it now. Some people like, uh, you know, Spanish. They're talking about uh, Mary J. Spanish. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dios when mio, you... Mary J. Blige and her Espanol is a pity. <laughs> right. <They're> horrible. <laughs> que horrible. <laughs> right. She was trying to little reach, overstep a little bit. But, a lot uh, of it. Uh, my sister Whitney over here was liking Met the Man right there. <laughs> <laughs> she was glad a lot, a lot, that women, were. A yeah. lot of women were feeling it. I was I was looking at you know what I was seeing on Twitter and you know I've watched a couple of different reviewers and uh, w- women were quite pleased to, to see those cheeks. Uh, right. I could have done <laughs> without. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So, you know, that just go to show you guys, man, everybody ain't the same. Everybody is individuals, you know. They always try to say, well, everybody would think all the women like this or all the women don't or all the guys this or all the guys don't. You know, it's a lot of guys probably didn't mind. I wasn't one of them, but, you know. (laughs) It is what it is. Right. You know, I ain't going to hate on them, so. No. Well, hey, the I'm gonna let you draw. The sex scene was better than all of Mary J. Blige's so far. I'll give him that. It looked real, uh, yeah. authentic more, you know, like they was into it. So yeah, more, more than that. Mary J. Blige shouldn't appear rubbing on somebody like this. Can I get you some? Do you need something else? This is Mary J. Blige in a sex scene, like right. What, <laughs> what, what is this, Mary? <laughs> yeah, she definitely looked like she didn't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, look, I'm gonna let you go and pick up that den den because you know it ain't no be nobody like it cold. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but all uh, right. For y'all that don't know, you out in what Houston, Texas? I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay. Right now, uh, you know, I I told you what I'm doing, and uh, I, I'm managing a a project for a military installation in Texas. That's all I really want to say. Um, a construction project. So it's not top secret, but I'm, I'm at the place in Texas where things are going down, you know, <laughs> so you can probably figure it out. <laughs> right, right. It's been in the news a lot lately, this place. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hey, I appreciate you for your support. Appreciate you for stopping in, saying what's up, and I'm going to appreciate, you know, a little working together and stuff, and we're going to make a lot of stuff happen. So all you guys out there watching, you know, look forward to more. So. All right. Well, I'll see you. See y'all. Jesus, I'm going to go get my food. Go all eat right. Black ass to sleep. <laughs> all, <laughs> all right. All right. You take care, sis. All right. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Well, there you have it. That was Ty right there, and she real sweet, smart young woman right there. And uh, you know, we've been uh, talking about some collaborations, so we're gonna make something happen um, in the near future. So you guys will get like a his and hers perspective on different topics, and you know. Maybe that'll make some more people feel comfortable joining and talking on the show as well. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. I appreciate every one of you guys. Um, Whitney said, are you in Killeen? Well, if she told you, she'd have to kill you, sis. No. Nah. <laughs> um I don't know. Maybe uh, you guys check her out on the channel. And that's one thing about this whole thing. It's no need to be greedy. We can all work together, support each other. I watch HBO, Showtime, Stars. You guys may watch Mark Dark, me, Lamont Tyson, other people. I watch other people. Watch this, that, Truth Unedited, uh, whatever the case. You guys can watch her, watch me. We can support each other. 
build a little community, help new up and coming people come up. And we can all support each other because other communities support each other. It's people with 12,000 subscribers and maybe 100, 200 videos made. And they'll have maybe 300 people supporting them on Patreon. You know, we got to start supporting each other more. When they do live streams, they got a lot of people supporting them you know, financially, whatever the case, whether it's a dollar or whatever. Um, and, you know, a lot of other communities got the ability to do that. And I understand they able to support more. We in our community don't always have a lot to support, you know, an extra. But, you know, we can help each other in other ways, too, whether it's lending a helping hand, working together with each other or whatever the case. So, you know, I want to try to do that, and I think that this would be a good positive thing and a good start and a good example on what we could build and what we could do, you know, together, especially now with all these platforms where we could control our own content, our own destiny, and you don't have to, you know, try to be creative and then submit to someone else and then get their approval whether they'll put it out there or not. We can make stuff and come up with stuff and put it out there right then and there. So, you know, we'll see what happened. I look forward to it. You guys have been great. All you guys, I wouldn't be where I am now. And with these opportunities and thinking without you guys' support. And, uh, you know, you guys have been amazing. Um, let's see. Whitney J, I'm exclusive to you. I don't watch other show reviewers. Well, you know what? I love you for that. And if that's how y'all feel, I love you and appreciate it too. And that's, you know, some people are like that. And, you know, some people would be the same for her too. That's fine. That's, you know, it is what it is. But hey, when she over here, you get to hear it and, you know, get a little flavor of that too. And the same. And, you know, hey, I love you too, sis. You got my back, and I appreciate you for that. And I got your back too. Let's see. Lord Bice, Lord Dragon, you say you will take Method Man. I'm saying take me also. I must have missed what y'all was talking about. Miguel, good night. Yep, keep up the last of reviews. I appreciate you. I'm getting ready to get up out of here, y'all. Let me try to get a couple of these last comments right quick. And uh, I see Lord Dragon, you trying to steal my lady, man. What's up with that? Sir Classic, can't believe people think Ghost is still alive. Yeah, hey, it's hard to let a good one go, right? Hey, you guys have been amazing. I got about 44 people still hanging on watching. I hate to let you go. You guys are all beautiful. I appreciate all the support. Before I go, what last impersonation would you like for me to do? And whichever one come up first, I'm going to do that. So whoever type it in first, that's the impersonation I'm going to do. And then I'm out of here. Let's see. Who, who, who's going to be? Teresi. Uh, Teresi and Uncle Clifford came at the same time, 1123. And Braden versus Tommy. All right, you all, I'm going to do... I'm going to do Teresi and Uncle Clifford, and then I'm out of here. Let me get it, wet my whistle for Teresi first. Hey, you wanted to see Teresi? Hey, let me know that you know something. I'm an old school wise guy. I'm old school Italian, Italian, Italian mob. You come and you want to go against the mob. You're making a mistake, okay, Mooly? You Mooly, okay? Let me let you know something, you Mickey Jambaloon. You don't want to go against the Ressi. I run things. I don't have a problem with whacking a little eggplant like you. So take my advice. Get out of Dodge. Hit the bricks, pal. <laughs> and then, you want to hear about Uncle Clifford? 
I'm gonna give you a little Uncle Clifford before I get up out of here. If y'all wanna know about the pink, I'm gonna let you know the pink ain't going nowhere because Uncle Clifford had made a little tag team investment. All right, I'm with Autumn Knight. She all poetic and check. Uncle Clifford know what he doing. You think I was able to keep all these hoes in line by myself? Uncle Clifford, I got skills. And I love the Hershey Highway. I got speed pass, baby. And my favorite Hershey, I don't mind if it got nuts or not. I just love that chocolate bar, baby. Uncle Clifford, I'm here to stay. Be valid, baby. Get that money on. Uncle Clifford, y'all better get up there and shake that money maker, baby. Oh, Uncle Clifford, Diamond, D I A M O N D, Diamond, where the hell are you at, Diamond? D I A M O N D, I need you at the front door, Diamond. Uncle Clifford, don't play that. Well, that's my Uncle Clifford. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you guys. You guys are funny. Say so you need to write these down. <laughs> Uncle Clifford sound like a pastor. Well, I was praying for a nice young stallion to ride this Hershey Highway. Amen. A man, you get it? A man is what I wanted. <laughs> All right, I love you too, girl. You take care. You say, Cat Williams. <laughs> this is Cat Williams. Let me tell you something, Pimpin. Pimpin is Pimpin, Ben Pimpin. All right, you want to talk about Uncle Clip? It sound like me. You please. Uncle Clifford don't sound like me. I'm Cat Williams. It do sound like Uncle Clifford. <laughs> uh, man, you guys are having me talking forever, man. Y'all make me laugh, man. I'm a pimp named Slickback. Okay, Slickback. No, my name is a pimp named Slickback. That's my name. A pimp named Slickback. Okay. I'm Cat Williams. That's what my name is. Pimp name Slick Back. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all is crazy. You say my hat moving around. <laughs> Woo! You liking the chocolate without the nuts? Uncle Clifford does not mind whatever road you want to ride because my toe booth is wide open come on through i don't mind no speed bumps just go as fast as you like uncle clipper can take it let me get up out of here man y'all gonna have me uh <laughs> i'll be up here laughing and saying stuff y'all gonna get me in trouble trouble i'm gonna be in trouble anyway y'all is amazing i appreciate it y'all got good good comments appreciate y'all i'm about to get up out of here and i'm out i know i've been saying i'm getting out of here for a minute but deuces y'all peace